Welcome to IT and Automation Academy. Today, we're going to explore the differences between RS-232 and RS-485 serial communication standards. But before we dive into that, let's first understand what a serial protocol is. If you're new here, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future content. Serial communication is a method used to transfer data between devices. It sends data one bit at a time, which makes it simpler and more cost-effective for many applications. Two of the most popular serial communication standards are RS-232 and RS-485, both widely used in different industries. Now, let's take a closer look at each of them. First up, RS-232. RS-232 is ideal for short-distance communication, up to 15 meters. It's a one-to-one -one connection, which means it only allows two devices to communicate at a time. It typically transfers data at around 20 kilobits per second, although it can go up to 115.2 kilobits per second in some configurations. Now let's talk about RS-485. RS-485 is designed for long-distance communication, supporting distances of up to 1,200 meters. Unlike RS-232, it's a multipoint connection, allowing you to connect up to 32 devices, or even more if you use repeaters. It can handle data transfer speeds up to 10 megabits per second over short distances though speed decreases as the distance increases to maintain signal quality. RS-485 is more resistant to electrical noise, making it a great option for industrial control systems, building automation, and process control. It's built to thrive in environments with lots of electrical interference. Now that we've discussed both standards, let's compare them and see how you can decide which one is right for your application. Distance is one of the most important factors. RS-232 is perfect for short distances up to 15 meters, while RS-485 can cover much longer distances, up to 1,200 meters. If your devices are far apart, RS-485 is the clear winner. Next, think about connectivity. RS-232 only supports one-to-one -one communication, meaning you can connect only two devices at a time. RS-485, on the other hand, allows for multipoint communication, connecting up to 32 devices in one network. So, if you need to connect several devices, RS-485 is the better choice. Speed is another key consideration. RS-232 typically operates at around 20 kilobits per second, but it can go up to 115.2 kilobits per second. RS-485, however, can support data rates of up to 10 megabits per second over shorter distances. If speed is a priority for you, RS-485 is the faster option. Cost is another factor. RS-232 is usually cheaper and simpler to implement, making it a good choice for basic applications. RS-485 while more expensive, provides more features like long-distance communication and support for multiple devices, making it worth the investment for more complex setups. Finally, consider the complexity and scalability of your system. RS-232 is easy to implement but only supports a single pair of devices. RS-485 is a bit more complex to set up but allows for much greater scalability. If you need to connect several devices or plan to expand your system in the future, RS-485 is the better option. What about noise resistance? RS-485 is much more resistant to electrical noise, making it ideal for noisy environments like factories or industrial plants. RS-232, on the other hand, doesn't perform as well in environments with lots of interference. To ensure reliable serial communication, follow these best practices. Use high-quality cables and connectors to minimize signal loss. Make sure your devices are properly configured. Monitor your data transmission to catch any issues early. 
Implement error detection and correction to ensure data accuracy. Let's sum it up. If you need short distance communication, RS-232 is your go-to. For longer distances and more devices, RS-485 is the better choice. If you need faster data transfer or better noise resistance, RS-485 wins again. If cost and simplicity are your top priorities, RS-232 is the way to go. By evaluating these factors, distance, connectivity, speed, noise resistance, cost, complexity, and scalability, you can choose the right serial communication standard for your specific application. Thanks for watching IT and Automation Academy. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future content. If you have questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to comment below.